Hello students, this is Dr. G. R. Sina. We are going to discuss about simplified model, simplified hybrid model, which we also call as approximate hybrid model, approximate H model, approximate hybrid model. We need to understand why it is significant, why it is important, and why there is a need of approximate model. Actually, we have drawn a common emitter exact model. Common emitter exact model, you all understand. VB, IB, HIE, HRE, BC. How do we draw the exact model of common emitter amplifier? There is standard two equations. What are the two standard equations? VB equal to HIE, IB plus HRE, BC. See that? And how do we write the output equation IC? IC is equal to HFE, IB plus HOE into BCE. Why this is called as exact model? It is called as exact model because this has been drawn on the basis of basis of the two standard equations which describe the common emitter amplifier. How do we get the simplified model and why there is a need of, what is the importance of simplified model which we call as approximate model. What actually is the problem in exact model? There is some problem in the exact model. What is that problem? If you look at the model, the model is the equivalent circuit of common emitter amplifier. Uh, this is described on the basis of four hybrid parameters, HIE, HRE, HFE and HOE. There are different parameters, different factors which can cause variation in hybrid parameters. What are the factors which can cause variation in hybrid parameters? Number one, if temperature changes, we all understand that the current changes, so hybrid parameters will change. Transistor, transistor aging, then environmental condition, if Q point changes, then there is likelihood of variation, there is chance of variation in hybrid parameters. And if you look at the hybrid parameter variations, the maximum variations, the large amount of variations are there in HRE and HOE. And therefore, if we use this model in the further analysis of transistor amplifier, what will happen? If hybrid parameters vary, the analysis which will be based on this circuit will no longer be stable. And therefore, what we do that? We approximate this model, eliminating, reducing the possibility of more variable, I mean, uh, the, the parameters which are having more variations, large amount of variations. So how, we, how can we do that? HRE is having large amount of variation, so let us neglect it, let us ignore it. So if HRE is neglected, HRE VCE, what it will become? HRE VCE will be approximately equal to zero. Zero is nothing but an electrical equivalent circuit. If the voltage is zero, it becomes, it is replaced by short circuit. Similarly, you can see that if HOE is negligible, if you can ignore HOE, what is one upon HOE, you can understand this becomes infinite. And infinite impedance in equivalent circuit means you know that this becomes open circuit. See that here open circuit is there. There is a short circuit and there is open circuit. So if we apply, if we ignore, if we neglect these two hybrid parameters which are having more amount of variations in the exact model, the resulting model is simply having HIE and HFE IB. Sometimes you find that more beautiful hybrid model, approximate model is drawn in many of the books and literatures like this. I mean, rather than drawing this, we can draw like this also. There is a base, there is a collector, there is a meter. Base, there is HIE and towards collector, there is HFE IB. And from base, what is the current which is flowing? IB and what current is flowing there in the collector terminal? HFE IB and that's all. And this is called a simplified model, simplified hybrid model or approximate hybrid model for common emitter amplifier. So why it is needed? In order to reduce the possibility of variations. Why variations are eliminated? So that the further analysis of common emitter amplifier. What do we mean by further analysis of common emitter amplifier? When we actually bring this common emitter amplifier into practice connecting certain load in source, then Analysis of transistor amplifier means determining current gain, determining voltage gain, determining input impedance, determining output impedance. Those analysis, those factors of analysis will, will have instability in their values. So in order to get more stability, become to, 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 to get more stable analysis of transistor amplifier, what we do that we convert into approximate model. An approximate model is done. How do we draw it? We simply ignore these two values, this becomes replaced by zero voltage, this is, this is replaced by uh, infinite impedance which is open circuit. We get the model very simple as this and in other way we can draw this model as this one and this is the model 
which is called the simplified hybrid model for common emitter amplifier because emitter terminal is common here. And what is the basis of drawing? The exact model with which we started. What is the second factor? We, we got the simplified model. Large amount of variations are there. We growed, we neglected their two values. The third very important thing is what is the validity of this model? Validity means under what condition we have to use. Suppose there is a general purpose problem. There is a problem where we have to solve so many parameters of amplifier using hybrid model. When to use exact model and when to use approximate model. There is a clear cut, uh, I mean rule, validity condition and that is we have to check because normally HOE is either given or we have to take the standard value and RN is the load resistance where the common emitter amplifier is to be used into practice, used to certain application, used in certain application. So if HOE RN is less than or equal to 0 0.1, we have to go for simplified model and if this value is greater than 0 0.1, I mean if the variation in this factor HOE RN is less than 10%, 0 0.1 means less than 10%, we have to go for simplified model, otherwise we can go for exact model. The approximate model is only used when HOE RN is checked, it is evaluated and it is found that its value is less than 0 0.1. So this is about the simplified or approximate model of common emitter amplifier. Thank you.